Welcome to the Essential Ideas of John Stuart Mill. One of Mill's many contributions to our understanding of free and open societies is that individual rights are not absolute and that some limits need to exist to ensure a cooperative, functioning society. Mill, like his predecessors, was a strong advocate of individual rights and freedom. The guiding principle for Mill was that people should be free to pursue their own interests, so long as their actions don't impede the ability of others to do the same. But where does one person's right to pursue their own interests end because it interferes with other people doing the same? Prior to Mill, these limits to individual action largely rested on the idea of physical injury. Mill thought these limitations should go beyond physical injury and extend to any meaningful harm. That is, individuals should be free to pursue their own interests up to the point where their actions impose meaningful harm on other people, physical or not. Let's explore Mill's concept of the no harm principle using an example that doesn't involve physical harm. Jake loves heavy metal music. When Jake is at home alone and listening to his heavy metal music, he's not harming anyone. His parents, who don't like heavy metal music, might be annoyed when they pass by his room, but he's not causing meaningful harm to them. However, if Jake buys a new speaker system and cranks up the volume to the point where it's now heard by his parents watching television downstairs and the neighbors who are having a family barbecue, Jake is now causing meaningful harm to other people. He's impeding the ability of both his parents and the neighbors to pursue their interests, namely enjoying a television show and the company of family at the barbecue. Mill's insight was the need for limitations, and in some cases government intervention, to limit the harm done by people when their actions impose harm on others. But Mill also understood the nature of markets and the potential of innovation to overcome these conflicts of interest. Back to our example of music. Entrepreneurs developed headphones and later portable music devices like Walkmans, and now even music players in our phones, which allowed Jake to enjoy his heavy metal music, no matter how loud, without interfering with his parents watching television or his neighbor's family barbecue. Mill's no harm principle and the subsequent work it led to was so important that it eventually developed into an entire field in economics. For more information on John Stuart Mill, visit EssentialJSMill.org. And to learn about more Essential Scholars, visit EssentialScholars.org.